Good afternoon everyone and uh, thanks for your coming. I am Sun Chong Chong, coming from the Institute of Robotic in Technical University of Catalonia. The paper I want to present is Multilayer Model Productive Control of Regional Water Networks Application to the Catalonia Case Study. The paper is a joint work together with Professor Vicente Spood and Professor Gabriela Semblano, who also works in the Institute of Robotic in Technical University of Catalonia. And this work is one part of my PhD research, which belongs to the European project named FNET, and this project is funded by the European Commission. In this paper, a multi-layer MPC scheme with temporal coordinating technique is proposed. In the recent years, water problem has become more and more important because of the decreased supply but increased demand and pollution. For example, the Catalonia Regional Water Network, which is my case study, has more than six times water shortage problem in the past 20 years. And what is worse, the frequency is also increasing in the recent 10 years. Because of that, a more efficient and appropriate control technique of water system is needed in urgent. And this is one motivation of my research. From the functional perspective, a regional water network has been divided into supply, transportation, and the distribution three layers. Among them, supply layer is the upper layer, which mainly includes water resources, open channels, and large reservoirs. Transportation layer is the middle layer and links the water treatment plants with the reservoirs distributed all over the city. Distribution layer lies inside demand node of the transportation layer and it mainly meets demands of specific customers. Here is the aggregated topology of Catalonia Regional Water Network. According to the definition of different layers, the two rivers, Yabrigat and Del, which lies on the two sides of this plot, together with their connected elements, constitute the supply layer. The center part of this plot is the transportation layer, and the distribution layer lies inside the mind node of the transportation layer. Here is the network after dividing. The center yellow part is the transportation layer and the two sides blue part is the supply layer. In the supply layer, which is mainly composed by natural rivers, the dynamic characteristic could be very long. For example, one day sampling time is needed during the control process. In contrast, the transportation layer could be controlled in a one hour sampling time. And the control objectives could be also different. Besides that, in reality, because of some political reasons, the supply and transportation layers are controlled separately by two different companies, which would reduce effectiveness or cause sustainable or ecological problem for the whole water network in the long term running. Coordinating control of the two different layers to get improvement for the whole regional water network in the long-term perspective is another motivation of this paper. The contribution of this paper includes three parts. First, design MPC controller to the transportation layer. Second, design MPC controller to the supply layer. Finally, coordinate the separated MPC controllers in the two layers using temporal hierarchy techniques. First, design MPC controller for the transportation layer. 
Here is topology of transportation layer. The bar layer has been simplified as two water sources with different price in red color of this plot. All the bombs have their electricity tariffs. In the transportation layer, basic MPC model has been used in the sampling time of one hour. The state X represents water volume of the tank and control variable U represents bomb flows. Objective function includes economic reduction during water transfer process, appropriate water storage maintained for emergency handling, and control action smoothness three items. After applying this MPC controller to the transportation layer, some preliminary results have been produced. Here is comparison between bomb flu and its electricity price. The red line is a bomb flu and blue line is electricity cost. This preliminary result shows that more water bomb during the cheaper price and less water bombed when the price is higher. The second plot shows water volume of this tank comparing with electricity price of the connected bomb. The red line is water volume and blue line is electricity cost. It proves that water volume in a tank increases when the bomb is working at cheaper time and decrease when the connected demand consuming water. In the third plot, where red line is water penalty level and blue line is tank volume, confirms that water volume of a tank is always above its penalty level because of emergency handling. Then, design MPC controller for the supply layer. Here is topology of the supply layer, where transportation layer has been simplified as one aggregated demand in red color in this plot. In the supply layer, there are two kinds of state and control variables. Besides the similar state and control variable in the transportation layer, a second kind of state and control variables is used to represent time delay of the river flow and one state represents one unit of time delay. After integrating both kinds of state and control variables, we have state space equation like this, and control objective in supply layer include appropriate water storage maintain for emergency handling, demand slackness penalty for irrigation, balance management for usage of rivers, uh, to uh, water waste minimizing and ecological level conservation. Sampling time of this layer is one day. Here is the objective function of the supply layer. It includes all the items of the control objectives and the ecological level conservation has been included in the safety penalty because of their similarity. And matrix W, uh, a weight matrix set by the water manager. After applying this MPC controller to the supply layer, we also have some preliminary result. Here are results about ecological conservation, where blue lines are river flows, where red lines are ecological levels. This plot shows that after ecological controlling, river flows can meet the required minimal river levels for ecological reasons. Here are results for the safety penalty of the large reservoirs. It proves that after controlling, water volume of a reservoir is always above its penalty level. Here is preliminary results of balance management. In this table, BD represents last demand from the two rivers, and PB is proportional of that. PR is the proportional of supplyability of the two rivers. The similarity between PB and PR is the objective of balance management.
This table proves that, after balance management, water usage in the two rivers is proportional with the supplying ability. Besides that, during the drought season, supplying time for the whole network, as the SA shows, is 65 days longer than the controller before balance management. Up to now, both MPC controller of supply and transportation layers are still working separately. In order to generate control strategies for the two different layers, temporal coordinating mechanism is provided. This is a temporal coordinating structure. And two variables are needed for communicating between the two layers. They are mirror disturbance and target constraints. Mirror disturbance handles aggregated demands of transportation layer, and target constraint express management policies from the supply layer to the transportation layer in the form of control constraints. Here is working structure of temporal coordinator. In every horizon time, here is 24 hours. Transportation layer will provide mirror disturbance to the supply layer. After optimizing, the supply layer will produce constraint of management policies to the transportation layer. And general description of this coordinating algorithm is also provided. It works like this. If US represents control action corresponding to the ice day, the total remaining water for this day will be Td minus sum of U. And in the control horizon, sum of the control action that corresponding to the current day I should be limited by Tdi, while the other part corresponding to the next day should be limited by Tdi minus 1. Finally, the generated constraints are added as additional constraints to the basic optimized problem associated with the lower layer. This plot a uh, comparison of water consumption by transportation layer from the two rivers before and after coordinating. This plot proves that after coordinating, water consumption from the two rivers by the transportation layer is also affected by the river supply ability besides the source price. Here is analyze of economic cost. In this table, economic cost on water, electricity, and total have been compared among current control MPC ways and without coordinating. These comparisons show that multi-layer MPC scheme is working better than the current control but a little worse than the MPC without coordinating. The explanation is that after coordinating management policies of a supply layer like balance management has also been put into use to the transportation layer and this makes the cost of the transportation layer increase. Another aspect, this limited economical sacrifice have good advantage for sustainable usage of water resources, ecological protection of rivers and also is good for long time use of the river which is reasonable from the long-term perspective. And that is all for the explanation about this CDC paper. In the recent months, our research group is starting to control the nonlinear relation between flow and pressure models in the distribution layer. And some initial results have been submitted to the 90th conference of IFAC, which will be held in South Africa. Besides that, the pump station scheduling program is also on the way of researching, and some basic results have been submitted to the 13th conference of ECC. 
Um, that is all for my presentation. Thanks for your attention.